Virtual Sprouting STEM, powered by PNC's Grow Up Great. Today we'll become citizen or everyday scientists by going on an ant picnic as well as counting and recording the number of ants who come to the party. March on over and let's get started. Hey everybody and welcome back. My name is Alina and joining me today are my two super scientist friends, Harrison and Corbin. And today we are going to be citizen scientists helping with a ant picnic. Now, to put it simply, citizen scientists are everyday people like you and me that help by doing experiments to gather information that we can send to real professional scientists so they can gather it for on a larger scale. So what that means is, for scientists, think about it, they can't travel all over the world, all over the United States to get their information. So it's up to people like you and me, our citizen scientists, to help them do these experiments and gather information. So it, gets, it helps them get a better idea of what's going on. So today, we're gonna have an ant picnic. What you're gonna need for this is a couple of juicy materials, a little paper plate, just like this. What we're gonna do is we are going to figure out what kind of food ants like to eat. Now guys, what do ants like to eat? What do you think they like to eat? Uh, apples. Apples, what do you think an ant likes to eat? Um, um, crackers. Crackers, I think they like to eat jelly. So today what we're gonna do is we have this awesome printable. For this activity, you can go ahead and find this at the link below. It will help you in the long run for this awesome experiment. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put on this plate different types of food and then we're gonna set it out. Well, what's gonna happen is we're gonna let it sit for an hour and then we're gonna come back and see how many ants are actually on the plate and see what they prefer to eat. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put our foods on our little slices. We have our plate set up. Let's go set it out for the ants. We'll be back in an hour to check on that and then count our numbers. Now guys, it's been roughly an hour and now it's time to check our little citizen scientist project. Let's see how many ants decided to actually visit our wonderful snack buffet. Well, it doesn't look like there are too many ants that decided to visit our plate, but we do have a nice handful. Now at this point in time, this is where we actually start to count them, and this is where dividing your paper came in handy. So what happens, you see we have our five little square in our dividers. We're gonna go ahead and take our little sheet, and we're going to count how many ants are in that little cutoff sector. So it seems to me we have most of our insects in our jelly. So our jelly has one, two, three, Four. We have four ants in our jelly. And where else? We have our water over here. I see one ant on that side. One ant on our water. We have one ant in our cracker. So from the looks of it, guys, who do you think had the most ants? Jellies. Jellies! So a lot of people probably thought crackers were better because we like crackers. But as it turns out, ants are drawn to the sugar and our jelly is our winner. Now, this is a fun and super easy citizen scientist experiment you can do right at home. All you're going to want to do is go to the link in the description below, print this out, and you can do the experiment for yourself. All the results will vary because some places have more ants than others. I hope you guys had fun learning about citizen scientist projects and we hope to see you next time. What did you learn today? Thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time for Virtual Sprouting STEM. Powered by PNC's Grow Up Great.